Hello oh, and welcome everybody, I gotta say, I gotta say, uh, we are starting faster this time. We're actually on time, can't check this out if I didn't increase the time or it would have been fine. But anyway, I did notice uh, in the lobby we do not have um, BSM on, so uh, I'm pretty sure we're gonna have a real lobby, it's just a matter of time. I do want to ask you if uh, also the sound is fine and uh, you can hear everything, like the music and the background and also my voice and everything, everything, I did need to reinstall like everything. Uh, from uh, last night to till today so yeah testing testing all day long now <laughs> got to play though got to play a little bit which was uh, kind of cool finally no oh, yeah 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 uh, hello there, uh, everybody. The Loon75, good evening, sir, and welcome. Rafifi, bonsoir, monsieur, et bienvenue. Rainy day, good day, sir, and uh, welcome. I did also notice uh, Cleo Zing, good enough in my head. You will come on. Uh, Muzdras, good evening, sir, and welcome. I mean, you know, that's what happens when you party too much, no? It is what it is, you know? It is what it is. But yeah, however you consider the party, it's still a party. Uh, then you think also, good evening, sir, and uh, welcome. I did uh, notice, wait a second, what happened in the, pre in the beginning of the stream? I was still. Uh, actually adding stuff to the stream when the, i did start it up eric open good evening sir and uh, welcome uh, i did notice most that pick up that uh, first promotion i see how it is uh, yeah 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 big shout out to the man uh, we do have uh, the players actually starting up on their uh, pre-game ban phase and i do want to actually open up the screen but i'm actually gonna need to oh my god i'm actually gonna need to click a lot of buttons to do that um i did notice somebody new did join us and uh, let me see oh oh hello uh miguel hello there sir and thank you so much for the, the follow let's actually uh, take a look over here and uh, put up the um, uh, display capture there we go Open screen, says me. Okay. Uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, check this out. Okay. Okay, there we go. No, I just need to make it smaller. I'm sorry that I need to do this uh, on stream. I did hurry up and uh, did as many elements as I uh, found, but yeah, some of them did uh, miss, but there we go. Now we should have actually have uh, the screen as it should, and I can just uh, put it down here, so uh, we are not, uh, there we go. It's fine, it's fine, it should be fine. Uh, we are going to join the uh, pick and ban phase. Six years qualifiers is actually still um, um, did actually manage to get a lot of um, uh, games going, and uh, they did uh, pursue a bit of a different format than we've seen the normal one with the groups or something like that. We did actually have a little company uh, going. Uh, we do have today little company going against Easy Kaka. Easy Kaka is a team that uh, actually has played in the previous uh, CWC. They did manage to get. Um, yeah, to get there and uh, we do need to see what are, uh, how did they change what are they going to put on the table today uh, looking at uh, what's going on here and i do have to say i'm a bit in a hurry to actually catch up with all of the information here but i hope uh, we're going to settle down in uh, soon 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 uh, montezuma has been taken out by easy card card they're going to go for the two pre games brands uh two on each side uh, one on the left from easy card card two on the right uh, well Two on the left on the, from Izikatka, two on the right from LCT. That's uh, La, uh, Lethal Company team, Lethal Company team, that's LCT. Uh, Sumeria and Gandhi have been taken out, and I do also know this. Uh, Yalta is saying Rich Highlands. So is Rich Highlands banned or is Rich Highlands picked? I'm not sure exactly what they mean over there, but I would imagine it is actually a ban or something. It, they probably uh, didn't get the first ban on the map, on the table here. We didn't have them taken out primordial first, the seven seas, they did take out, what is, what is this, what is this, Inlands, no, this is, uh, what, what is this, what is this, seven, no, that's the seven seas, this is what, lakes, is this lakes with the horsey, anyway, now let's see, woo, woo, woo. Oh, continents and islands, continents and islands, that's continents and islands, okay, so uh, it's going to be a choice between Pangea Standard Ridge uh, and Pangea Classic Ridges by the looks of it, because uh, they did take out Ridge Highlands um, in the chat, they didn't actually uh, get to click the button, unfortunately, and it is what it is. Now we're gonna see them play on Pangea. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Now, is it gonna be simming or is it gonna be warring? I think that's the that's the question. Uh, Shiro Magic, good evening, sir, and welcome. Mahalan, good evening, sir. For context, both teams lost one ban due to delay organizing their games. Oh Oh, I see, and I gotta say, since you're here, Holland, I do have to apologize for uh, my uh, forgetfulness in the um, uh, last weeks. I'm so sorry. I don't know how that happened. It's not gonna happen. Uh, it's not gonna happen again. I'm do gonna do my best to not uh, see this through. I'm a bit. Um, um, how to say straight thin with my uh, patience and um, uh, how to say. Uh, um, 
the tension uh, because um, I really want to get the PC going and until it's stabilized and I actually have, uh, you know, uh, like a few days of uh, peace, uh, it's all a mess in my head. Like I need, uh, I'm always thinking of how to troubleshoot this instead of thinking of uh, every other detail. But anyway, I th uh, again, thank you for your understanding. Um, okay, now I can hear, I don't seem to have missed anything. No, not really. We didn't have a few pre-game bans uh, being done. We are starting to see them um, uh, taking the way the choice for the save but the map choice is not appearing over here is this a bug is this uh, my image actually not allowing that one to uh, go through no 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 why why is it not coming through was it pangea it, i know it's one of the pangeas but i don't know which one uh maybe let's see which pangea has been picked i do have to say of course uh, we're gonna have two different styles right on pangea standard bridges i'm pretty sure the players are gonna be a little bit more comfortable with their response a little bit more seeming than uh, rather than uh, if you compare it to with pangea classic ridges when uh, the sky is the limit you have open territory towards your opponent not that many mountains uh, to block your passageway so you can um, apply your uh, attacks of the much earlier stage and of course that's gonna be aggression and uh, defense that uh, the players will need to take care of now we do have them also going through the next bands here. It looks like uh, Canada and uh, Shantra Gupta have been taken out. One from Easy Carga, one from uh, LCT. I'm actually a bit curious if um, they're playing with uh, the new forest balancing option that we have. Uh, I think I've actually talked about it a few times on the stream. Hello there, Linda, and uh, good good evening, ma'am. Good day, ma'am, actually, because, you know, it's kind of day <laughs> for it and i told the maps were uh, banned so the app doesn't show the only one left oh i see i see that was uh, the problem over there got it um when i look at the bands i thought it was the classic i forget it's not see far yeah the man i actually did go and play two games on see far with the teamers in, in teamers with the spreed sambro and the boys uh trevor the and then uh well um in one game one of my teammates got a setter from my opponents and they uh, wanted the remap because it was turn 18 it was his second set third setter kicked up him and then um in the second game we remapped and uh i killed the uh, my next door neighbor's uh, city with galleys and they gg'd I think I only got to play like two hours in total and that was like, uh, you know, pre-political philosophy gameplay, everything. Whoa, hi Fiend, thank you so much for uh, the follow. Much appreciated, sir. Thank you, thank you. Uh, wait, Wilfred wanted the good boy do That's a good question if uh, Wilfred over here is going to be uh, very, very, very good in the lobby. I still think uh, we're going to need to re-lobby here because there's no um, uh, there's no BSM, so I'm pretty sure uh, they're going to need to do this. But I did want to check if uh, they're actually changing anything here. This is, uh, okay, it's disabled right now for uh, for the game, or for this lobby at least. Uh, let's see, what do we have here? We got Hungary also being... Uh, taken out by easy kata on the left side and yes on the right we're going to see something else i think i actually need to put a text here right i just remember i oh my god i need to actually close the screen and uh, put the text give me a second it just it takes me a second Oh, you're not seeing it yet? Okay. Well, uh, anyway, uh, this, this, and now I need to do, where was it? This, right? Uh, the background color, there we go. Whoop. There we go. Got it. Okay. I think it's big enough so everybody can see it, right? It's big enough so everybody can see it. It's fine. There we go. Now, uh, will you give us a quick description about how the CCS qualifiers is set up? Yeah, that's a good one. That's a good one, actually. Linda is uh, asking a very powerful question. Why uh, audio sounds different? Uh, which audio sounds? I don't know. I'm not sure exactly which sounds uh, you're referring to. Wow, you guys are considering eating a cold stone steak is easier than hunting a kangaroo? What? 
<laughs> well, anyway, we got some picks being done here and looks like uh, standard is going to be the map. So I can actually uh, switch that soon. Uh, we do have uh, ban, 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 no bans, no bans. Who's going to ban last? Okay. Uh, which Pangea has been picked? Okay, no, no, they, they did have another pick here and it looks like they didn't actually ban it. So I'm thinking, what did they not ban? Anyway, Easy Kanka is going to go for Scythia, which is uh, uh, quite an aggressive civilization. And I'm actually surprised that they're choosing this on Pangea standard. Which is still going to have a few opportunities, hopefully, uh, to go against his opponents without being blocked by the mountains. And I hope uh, we're going to see them... Um, of course, uh, get that uh, perfect spawns over here. On the right side, we do have uh, Mongolia King Khan, which does have the opportunity to capture some uh, war structures uh, from uh, city over here. Remember Mongolia over here, big, big man. We do have also Master. Oh my God, this this lobby. Oh, um, maybe the Windows in installation. Oh, my microphone sound is different than usual. Uh, okay. Well, I guess it is different, yeah, but I don't know if how different it is. is it on the correct output? Give me a second, because maybe it's the wrong microphone. Oh, oh, there is an echo. Okay, give me a second. Maybe uh, there's a stream open somewhere and I can't see it. Uh, no, not here. No, no, I need to uh, fix. Oh, me. Okay, is it uh, better now? You should only hear me from one side. I, I think I know what happened. I think I know what happened. Give me a second. No, I mean, uh, you're only going to hear me from uh, the left. <laughs> I'm... I'm uh... Good. I need to uh, check this. I know how. I know what I need to do. I just need to uh, open up the proper uh, thing. And this, 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 this. Where is it? There we go. Okay, okay. You can see. You can hear me stereo now. Yeah. Better. Better. It's still not normal. I mean, uh, right now, it's still not normal. Wow. Uh, okay. Oh, okay. I got a thumbs up now. Okay. Okay. There we go. There we go. There we go. We got it. We got it. We got it. We're moving forward. So I think it was actually picking up another microphone. I think you were hearing me from uh, the stream cam or something instead of the, my usual microphone. Uh, now it is. I turn up the volume. Well, not really but anyway it, it is what it is if you consider it is uh, bet it is good and it is better than before it's called good let me actually um, try this out open up the, my stream on the phone and uh, see how i hear uh, just for a few seconds but anyway in the meantime i can uh, take a peek what's going on easy Katka did go for um, vietnam as the last uh, civilization here for the first pan for the first pick phase we do need to see what they're gonna do next because um, they did uh, finish up all of their bands it looks like uh, catherine de medici and the black queen and the rome guys taken out while uh, we do have from the other side um, as you can see over here julius caesar and basil the second being taken out which is kind of surprising that we actually have this happening um i wasn't expecting a uh, gang uh, or to say so many of these uh, world civilizations to appear on kind of a semi map i don't know man <laughs> anyway it looks like um uh, Persia is also going to be taken uh, by uh, lct it is going to appear there Okay, now it's much better. Now it should be ab about the previous one, right? Now it should be fine. It's normal now. Okay, let's. Okay, okay. Uh, well, the uh, the tiny one was disabled and the volume went up on the good one for whatever reason. Yes, I uh, switched. Um, uh, how to say? I switched the sources. And the microphone actually is being getting picked up in mono so it's only the uh, left channel that is actually getting picked up uh, usually so i need to tick off uh, the little that's like a little checkbox over here in the microphone settings that it uh, uh, creates a stereo environment it uh, gives the same um, uh, the same output to the other channel as well to the right one 
Uh, that's why uh, you heard me first on the left ear and then a few uh, like a minute later you heard me from both anyway now with uh, I, I gotta say this is actually uh, something that uh, it sticks in my mind because uh, I'm not sure if you watched uh, some of the television shows um, or especially the shows for radio or uh, somebody speaking exp uh, exp um, explaining something in a story it uh, they use the left channel for the microphone and not and the left right channel to be uh, music or other sound effects and so on and so forth which is so annoying to me especially when i when i uh, hear like i don't really listen to stereo on like um, how to say on anything else other than headphones right so whenever it, that's going to be something that's happening uh, and i'm not keeping my both of my headphones because i want to hear around me i don't want to be disconnected from uh, you know everything around me now i only he i only keep one headphone right so if one channel goes down i can't hear properly oh it's so weird anyway it looks like uh, they will pick the last civilization wait draft is over but they they didn't pick the last civilization which one was the last civilization i do see um age of empire got picked up uh, by lct and of course easy Karka didn't actually pick two of their civilizations here are we uh, is there a problem with uh, the lobby or something oh my god i need to actually if anybody can translate for me it would be amazing but at the same time i think we can actually parse this uh, get this through a translation program uh, google translate hello uh, google.com uh, let's see uh, what play, one player in brazil draft has broken uh, what happened suleiman when is uh, something okay well i guess uh, draft is broken is the most important thing that we can uh, take from here i'm not sure about the others uh, and i guess we can take a look at the players we got kazakh with uh, plombir with um the, 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 the nuzda and uh, kazandar playing today for little company while on easy katka we got the uh, euclid dagger okay corrogen and pionero now we do need to see when uh, they're actually going to put up a new lobby and hopefully they're actually going to finish the draft uh, they could finish the draft uh, by hand to be honest because like manually they had like what two more civilizations to pick and that was it but anyway we'll see what they choose uh well the tiny one was the uh, okay i did that and i think i need to actually put back my uh, things over here and uh, open up the screen so you can see what i see okay nothing uh, really is happening like the draft has stayed like this and it doesn't work or it, they say it's broken um maybe they should actually contact uh keride keride i believe it's the creator of uh, the cfgg draft maybe there's a problem somewhere over there oh and i do need to put up uh, the map right this is gonna be pangea sr standard ridges standard ridges i think i said it but i will say it probably every time in the standard the difference between standard ridges and um, uh, classic ridges is where the mountains spawn it's either a con uh, on the continent splits which is a standard ridges or not on the continent splits or not as much on the continent splits as uh, classic ridges we still have some as you've seen in multiple games on classic ridges we still have some mountains on the on the continent um, um junctions but there aren't that many mountains over there to block the passageways between um, uh, the parts of the land oh there we go we got a new uh, lobby or wait no he didn't okay hopefully um, we're gonna have a quickly lobby here so uh, we can activate Yeah, there we go. There we go. I think. Yeah. Okay. Just waiting for uh, everything to get in. Also, hello there, uh, YouTube. I know uh, this was uh, kind of an unannounced stream, and I did make the um, how to say, but I really didn't want to actually get something done uh, today. I was thinking of restreaming actually initially soon, uh, or um, uh, who was the Valanchip? Uh, they were. Uh, 
they were initially the casters but uh, Varancic actually didn't have any more time or uh, something happened I don't know and uh, he was kind enough to give me uh, the slot so we could actually get in the game and see what's going on I need to get uh, quite a few more games here from uh, the CCIS community because I need to catch up like I feel so bad that uh, that thing happened the last time uh, I forgot about the stream okay oh huh? There we go. Oh my god, I'm the first one in the lobby. Woo! Yeah, first one there. I think it's uh, safe now to... Uh close the screen there we go should be fine <gasps> hey i need the uh, oh my god i need something else okay i just realized what is it the cwc uh, logo Oh, I need to uh, download it actually from uh, Discord. Yes. Okay, everybody's getting in and uh, I do see them uh, starting to pick their civilizations. We're actually going to see their last picks here with um, the conclusion of their picks. Very, very, very good. Uh, let's see what uh, and who uh, are they going to prioritize? Who is going to play those uh, top civilizations there and uh, try to smash through their opponents? Who is going to try to contest those um, also? Wait, what am I... Uh, who is going to try to contest those um, uh, merchants, who is going to try to contest the generals, uh, if they're going to go for those, uh, what kind of a neighborhood they're going to have, if it's going to be a little bit more um, aggressive, uh, especially because of their picks, I'm pretty sure there's going to be quite a bit of uh, fear going around, of getting smashed at the beginning of the game, so uh, hopefully they're also going to have on the other side a little bit of uh, hope in their hearts, so they can withstand their opponent's attacks with the Genghis Khan, Macedon, Nader Shah, we got uh, Sifia in the game, you can imagine this is going to be quite a chaotic uh, game you know, we do have them uh, getting into the correct slots and i do see um, almost everybody is in we're going to need to take a look if uh, we do have zero ms to anybody and hopefully we don't and it should be fine uh, let me actually also open up my this and then do this uh, and finally get that uh, logo there oh wow 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 that's a big logo that's a big, big logo. Okay, now not like this, like this. Okay, like this. Very good, very good. One. <laughs> and two. Okay, and I think there's one more thing that I need to do. That's it. Good thing uh, we're getting this ready before uh, the actual game, so uh, I don't spend that time there. Perfect, perfect, perfect. It is what it is. Now with this, no, not this. Oh, uh, start the prediction also for uh, how many remaps are we gonna have? As, oh, wait a second, they lost the remap token. Didn't they lose? They both teams lost the remap token, so there's not gonna be a, a remap. Whatever map they're gonna get to play, they're gonna play. Uh, Drentul also, hello there, sir, and uh, welcome. we get uh, everything done i think so we got everything here 
Yeah, 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 yeah. Just a few minutes. Oh, looks like they are gonna prioritize those uh, generals, Alexander and uh, the other Sharik. The top picks, King is kind of the third one. Uh, it doesn't look like they're gonna fight for those merchants or uh, oh, Tomaris. They just changed to Tomaris. Oh, I mean, yeah, yeah. Only lost pre game. Uh, oh, only lost pre ban, not remaps. That's why they didn't actually do the pre game. Okay, got it, got it. Thank you, Holland. Thank you, Holland. There we go. It's good to, to we actually get the correct information here. I'm, uh, um, also, Linda was asking you earlier if uh, you can give us a bit of uh, an idea of uh, how the CPIS qualifiers is, are organized. Um, what is it like? Uh, I noticed this not for groups, right? You got uh, all of the teams in uh, someone and uh, they're playing against each other. smaller there we go i don't know how the map looks like but we're gonna take a look at it uh, in game and see uh, if it um, gets pulled in properly and next to everything else that i have over here if it fits um classic russian draft uh, alex mongol tomiris vietnam persia okay i bet this is uh somoria hojo Hojo, it is Hojo. So Corogen is gonna go for Hojo. Has Gazandar is gonna go for Age of Empire uh, Victoria. We got Euclid on Battery U, Pioneer on Nader Shah, and Cyrus is also gonna appear in the game there as the last civilization in the lobby. No, not a problem, not a problem. Okay, I think I need to switch this. There we go. Now I can uh, hear. Uh, you can also hear the sound in the games, right? You can hear the, the man talking right now, right? Sean Bean talking. Now begins your greatest quest. okay we got this we got the steam labels really quickly uh, i don't need to put up the remap uh, vote since uh, holland did confirm uh, that uh, it, they didn't lose the remap uh, vote so okay okay who uh, how many remaps uh, zero one two let's put it for five minutes because we don't have that much time and uh, let's also take a look at uh, youtube what is youtube doing over here getting a poll to uh, engage a little bit more here how many remaps do you think this game is gonna have of course pangea standard bridges and the possible options are gonna be zero one or two uh, so yeah let's actually take a quick peek on the map here on the left side we do have Persia let's uh, if we do have Persia here oh my god I don't know how this happens this is like what the sec second game in a row we actually take a look at the first save and boom it's the first one on top now uh, what um, we do have uh, Marhammer here Marhammer is gonna play uh, with his settler next to a river I don't know this oh my god Maceron to the south anyway he can definitely take on a uh, Maceron over there if uh, it's necessary but it's not because they are allied so I'm pretty sure they're just gonna trade with each other uh, we do have uh, War uh, Marhammer here also um, next to Venice uh, but very far away from an actual opponent uh, Kurakurum is still gonna be his ally Kazakh over here to the south is this is an uh, east versus west no it's just japan in the middle of or i guess in the middle on the west side over here and uh, looks like somebody's gonna get the wrong uh, end of the stick that's gonna be um age of empire here kazandar on the eastern side by the looks of it he's also gonna be to the north of uh, the other persian nader uh, which is not gonna be nice uh, england is gonna need to withstand those uh, immortals from the beginning and uh, of course that extra plus five against full strength units we do have uh, pasagarde getting his scout out in uh, three turns and yes i do see him uh, getting his northern scout 
Bulls going towards that uh, Tiki hat. Now we do need to see uh, also uh, when is he going to choose to settle his second city. I would imagine going towards the northeast over here is going to be his uh, choice to get uh, the benefits of multiple 2 twos. Southeast is kind of devoid of extra... Um, uh, production even though he does have a few times that can be improved it's extremely expensive at the beginning of the game uh, we will need to see how he's gonna play this out he could actually place two cities if he wants to one over here and one another one over there to the north now uh, i'm pretty sure they're not gonna prioritize us quickly to actually get those trade routes between them on the seas we're probably gonna see uh cyrus here wanting internals rather than externals at the beginning of the game that extra culture is quite important and uh, I, as you can see over here we don't to move forward let's actually take a look at age of empire on the right side uh, london is going to get his scout out in three turns and i do see he's uh, going to have quite a few uh, cities on the coast some with fresh water some without also torres del pain but very far in the south and that is probably going to be persia oh my god persia with torres del pain <laughs> the pain the pain <laughs> anyway i i guess uh, he's not gonna have uh, that many cities and not a lot of them are actually gonna have uh, fresh water he's gonna need if he wants the fresh water to activate here he's gonna need to put a city here and then buy a three tile the ring tile that's gonna be quite expensive for him to uh, get at the beginning of the game especially but of course it gets more expensive if you go through the turns um we uh, do need to see what is he gonna choose uh, to uh, try to benefit from torres del pain i'm pretty sure the scout will want to go uh, somewhere east side since he's gonna see a coast on the west doesn't really have uh, that many directions to go against anyway uh, london here does uh, at least have uh, two cities to place one to the north and one to the south not to mention others inland he's gonna be um oh my god i think england's gonna get it boys i think he's gonna get it we got dagger here with pokrovka to the northwest of england oh my god he's between two very bad boys very bad boys oh it is what it is and i don't think it's the kind from the actual movie the bad boys you know we got the uh we, we need to move forward we need to move forward because this is going to be plus 18 here uh genghis khan where is genghis the big genghis is to the east of uh, macedon and i do notice um he's getting a scout out in three turns he does have some uh, turtles here to benefit from a plus four campus but that is quite uh, far away for him to actually put it from the capital he does have uh, the lake to give him the fresh water sometimes in the north that he could go for um another lake with uh, possible avatars to improve and i do see matterhorn to the south west of uh, Korakorum. This is probably going to be his second city, isn't it? Matterhorn settled with uh, spices to the west and a 2-1 two stone tile on it. Oh, man. I mean, you know what's missing? The chocolate topping. That's what's missing. He, he doesn't have the cocoa. Anyway. Yeah, looking at uh, Alexander here, by the looks of it, uh, we do have him uh, next to the coast and next to some volcanoes. I'm pretty sure these are going to be very kind volcanoes, very calm volcanoes, because, uh, yeah, well, uh, he's not going to be in a war. Is he going to be in a war? What is he going to do? Swim the Hetaris towards his opponent here, towards Persia? I guess so, well, you know, it is what it is, you gotta do what you gotta do in the game, eh? Uh, Fajnial, good evening sir and welcome, Varims, good evening sir, welcome, welcome, Kazan, that is very good in the defense, okay, okay, I'm not worried, I'm not worried, uh, uh, but uh, against two civilizations that are uh, gonna have uh, quite a few bonuses of attacker against him, uh, let's see, and Sasu, also, uh, merci beaucoup um, for the feedback earlier, uh, thank you so much for pointing that out, so I can fix it, uh, Rafifi, that's uh, Persia, that's spawns on english river yeah <laughs> master don't spawn yeah 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 man. master don't spawn here i guess it is what it is <laughs> banana economy boys banana economy let me actually uh, open up the door for my cat because she's going crazy outside <laughs> what are you doing athena what are you doing Okay, just let her be let, you know let's see what she's gonna do anyway we do have uh, somebody reconnecting i'm not sure how to call him by the way i would really like to know how to actually call the player that uh, disconnected and uh, reconnected i it's not like i can actually read those uh, letters
I guess we can uh, keep on going and uh, see what's going on here with um, Macedon needing to get his settles probably on, well, some of them will, could be on the coast, but to be honest, he could just spend an extra turn uh, over here, for example, on the south, get the city on... Um, uh, on the desert hill but unfortunately those are very bad tiles he's gonna need to spend so much to actually get uh, the extra food here so i think that idea might actually just go uh, bust uh, we might see him just uh, settle a 2-2 and get the amber tile or, or some of the other 2-2s two it's still gonna be expensive but at least uh, he not as expensive um he does have another setter to the east for the bananas and I'm pretty sure he's gonna want to go and take that tiki hut. Uh, can I take Bandar Brunei with uh, coastal um, galleys unfortunately? He's gonna need to get some warriors there and or and orders of course at Taris. <coughs> <coughs> Okay, now we do have uh, to take a look here on Nader Shaw on the right side. There we go. We got Mashad getting his scout out in uh, two turns. And uh, I do notice that uh, <laughs> Tina is just uh, melting, melting. Hey, 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 come back. <laughs> She's very... Where are you going, man? Okay, okay. There we go. Uh, we do have um, him needing to actually send a scout to the east side so he can uh, see the Torres del Paine and uh, try to plan out his cities uh, over here. I do notice he's going to have the benefits of uh, multiple iron tiles and uh, yes, he's going to probably have forces somewhere, but in the third link to the west, that's going to be quite expensive for him to get. I'm uh, actually quite curious how England is going to also plan out his defense. Uh, there will be quite a few units that can j uh, join the war here from uh, multiple civilizations and Kazadar probably not going to be very happy about it now uh, athena woo! yeah exactly exactly this should be the quickest remap in the west <laughs> Woo! yeah lancer good evening sir now let's see we do have uh, two scouts actually popping out from casa did they buy him a scout i guess so or did he pop one from a hut i didn't actually see i was looking at chat uh anyway now we do have uh, to take a look also on uh, vietnam vietnam thang long he's getting his uh copies uh, to give him some extra culture and i do notice he's also gonna have a decent amount of cities here in multiple directions to uh, get the um, uh, empire going one two three at least four around here it's fine he's also gonna be quite far away from his opponents has an ally to uh, maybe trade with Scythia on the east they could both set up uh, coastal trade routes here in the southern uh, ocean not to mention even Persia could do Athena Athena why mm. anyway uh, we do have uh, Hojo also to take a look at. He's gonna be to the east of uh, the first Persia that we watched, the Marhammer there. And Korogen is uh, gonna get his scout out in one, and I do notice he's gonna have a 2-3-1 uh, fertile in the capital with other 2 tools easy to acquire. I do also see a uh, reef tile here that's gonna be amazing for uh, Korogen to get some uh, campuses next to. And we do need to see where is he gonna to want to place everything here. He can definitely go for harbor uh, and uh, something else there. Now we do have him also with a lot of spice tiles to the south. I do notice another two tiles are gonna give him uh, a nice good second settle over here to the south of uh, Johannesburg while he's gonna have some more furs on the east and on the west uh, looking at uh, also Scythia, right? We need to move on uh, towards Scythia. Pokroka is going to get his uh, settler out in five turns. That's going to be his second one. And uh, I do notice he's getting uh, his uh, scouting down on the west and on the east with two scouts. He wants to discover as uh, quickly as possible the territory he finds himself in. And uh, I do see there's still going to be quite some road to take towards the south. He never actually sent the scout to the southeast where England is. He did discover one of the Tiki has to the north and one to the southwest. And he's going to be grand. His all attention is gonna be grabbed over there by those Tiki Hatians. It is what it is, man. He's gonna be spelled. Anyway, now Pokrovka will need some food here. He is uh, trying to get that settler out as quickly as possible and uh, sacrificing the good health of their uh, his citizens here, not allowing them to grow. Uh, Eddie Coffin, have you considered that the reason Athena is so troublesome is that she doesn't speak Romanian, so doesn't know what you're saying? No. No, I'm pretty sure she uh, she und uh, well she doesn't understand the, uh, in detail as we understand, but she understands when she does something bad. She does something bad because she wants to do something bad, not because um, uh, she doesn't know it's something bad. Uh, and uh, you hear? Did you hear that? Yeah, that was a confirmation. That was Athena confirming what I just said. 
He just want the, she wants attention. I I don't understand why she what would we say um, doesn't just come to me. Bad kid, yes, yes, bad kid. It is what it is. Anyway, now we do have uh, to take a look also <clears throat> what's uh, their vision like. Looking on the life team, uh, we do have London discovering the south and uh, he's not going to discover about Persia. We do have a war declaration, so he, at least he's actually going to see the um, loyalty pressure of his opponent here to the southwest. <laughs> and I do notice he did discover Torres del Paine right next to his opponent. He's probably not going to be happy when he sees uh, he has uh, those civilizations there. I do notice uh, Mongolia is also discovering where... Japan is and uh, looking on the other vision we do have uh, Kyoto managing to get quite close to Persia but not as close as you might think um, or at least not until to discover him a turn 10 he might not even see loyalty yeah he needs to actually move here to see the loyalty of uh, Persia no uh, they don't see the loyalty of London oh no they do see Persia sees the loyalty of, of London uh, not this Persia this Persia he sees the minus 18 here even though the numbers do look differently uh, on their screen, because it's um, on my screen, it's the loyalty pressure that they apply to on me, that I don't actually have any loyalty pressure uh, on the map, uh, versus them, which they do apply some loyalty pressure. So you're going to have loyalty here that is uh, counteracting the loyalty of Persia, the same uh, you have loyalty here counteracting the loyalty of uh, England. This is what it is. The yay have it, and uh, you called it. You called it, Lancer. Quickest dream map in the West, bro. <laughs> well, I think it might be in the East, right? This is uh, the quickest dream map in the East. <laughs> oh well, it is what it is, bro. It is what it is. Yeah, that, but to be honest, they couldn't leave uh, England here. Even if Kazantar is very well experienced and versed in uh, defending himself in multiple situations, it, it's just like th you're throwing uh, a lot of your economy under the. Um, I would say uh, under the bus and also uh, you're not gonna get the full benefits of your war civilizations it did explode what it is is this the volcano that disproves the theory that volcanoes have a mind of their own they know maybe they uh, maybe he did it especially hmm. yeah video is frozen but audio is okay Wait, really? It's frozen? But I see it's moving. Okay, I don't know. It, it looks like it's uh, it's live. It's a little bit delayed, though. I have like a few. Oh, I see. Uh, let me actually take a quick peek. Uh, I think I can switch this, or do I need to switch this uh, the next time? Oh, I might need to actually switch the, um, the stream settings next time for uh, live. Uh, in FDV, auto start, auto stop, no stream latency. Yeah, I cannot. Uh... Oh, but no, it is on uh, ultra low latency, so it should be fine. It should be fine. Uh, let me actually uh, take a look at the chat here. On, uh... Good evening, Colorado. Good evening, sir, and welcome. Uh, my machine playing up, I think. I see, Sean. Good evening, sir, by the way. Good evening. And uh, thank you. It's uh, all right. The feedback is very much appreciated. Yeah, we did receive quite a bit of uh, good feedback actually about the forest balancing um, option in the BBS right now. And it uh, looks like a lot of uh, the players are actually preferring on CPL to play with it. CVFR didn't actually uh, test it out that much. So we're going to need to see if uh, they will also uh, try, uh, adopt it or at least test it out uh, to see what's going on. We're also going to need to see um, if uh, this is going to be mainstream, if it's uh, also going to enter the CWC in uh, what a month or something. We're going to start uh, making votes to see uh, exactly what's going on there. And uh, what changes do we need to implement? Okay, I think everybody got in, right? Yeah, yeah, okay. There we go. Uh, we got uh, Kurogen to talk about first. Are we going to take uh, the right team first? Oh, I do need to put up the team labels, right? This is going to make it so much more easier to actually talk about them. Uh, team one on the left side. Actually, that's a very good question uh, for me also. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, give me a second. This, this, okay. So, 
Kazandar and Kazak are on. Lethal Company. Lethal, or I should say LCT, right? LCT. And then on the right side, we do have Easy Katka. EK. There we go. We got that going. So, uh, looking at Dagger, actually, let's uh, take a look at uh, CTM. Where is CTM? Where's the big boy? <laughs> Who is he going to attack here? We do have, there we go, to the south of uh, Mongolia, Genghis Khan. Kazak is going to be next to him. And uh, Nader Shah to the southeast. That's going to be his ally. Uh, we do have uh, also England to the west side. But quite, uh, oh, actually, no, it's good. Oh, my God. Look at this beautiful highway for horses from CTM uh, going directly towards London. He didn't get out. He tried to get out, but he couldn't get out of this. We do need to take a look how uh, dagger is gonna get everything done here but he does have quite a few good settles uh, to uh, go for none of them are actually in the direction of the highway though on the west side here he's gonna need to spend quite a bit of gold to make that city work he could don't get me wrong he definitely could buy out the banana work the wine tile get some horses improve get other two tools but all of them are gonna require um uh, well all of them except the wine tile are gonna require extra gold we do have him going builder first here he wants the kurgan for the extra faith and of course improving his pashers uh, two pashers uh, oh my god so many pashers actually in the capital these are going to be very good kurgans one here and another one here and another one here unbelievably good kurgans at the beginning of the game well we do need to see how he's going to follow this up um, pretty sure he's going to require scouts to discover his territory and i do see his uh, warrior is moving westward well uh, moving forward towards uh, hojo hojo is on the western coast and he's going to be very close to alexander the same thing that uh, England has to deal with. It looks like uh, Hojo is also going to need to deal with. He's going to have this uh, bad boy next to him. Uh, Maceron is going to put quite a bit of pressure on Korogen. And uh, looking at the coast here, Kyoto will have a decent amount of cities to uh, go for. He's also going to have another opponent. Oh my god. <laughs> well, this might be a bit bad. And we got Cyrus here to the southeast of uh, Kyoto and uh, Maceron to the northeast of Kyoto. I think he might get squished. I no, no, he, he might turn tiny here. We do have him with um, the warrior discovering the northern territories. A scout coming out. Mato Tipila is a wonder for him to benefit from, which is going to be quite nice, but mm, not on the coast. So he's, I mean, I'm not uh, that convinced he's actually going to go quickly for it. He, in this situation, he might actually give up on harbors and try to go for something else. You can uh, work with uh, commercials also on um, Japan here. Yeah, but um, usually the players do want to go for um, those harbors in the water. With uh, with Japan, most of the time you do want to control the seas, but it's not like he has that much to actually control. There's nobody actually putting pressure on him until, of course, there's going to be England. But England has other stuff to do. I'm pretty sure England has other priorities. Uh, we do need to take a look next on uh, Vietnam. Vietnam in the middle of the map to the southeast of uh, Maceron, quite far away to actually apply his military power at the beginning of the game to try to save uh, Hojo. But we'll see how the game progresses. He does have a decent amount of tutus around. Um, volcano to the west. Some uh, citrus tiles even want to settle on. But to be honest, this is not a good city. Uh, this uh, rice tile city though this uh, this caught my eye he could definitely settle here get the two three one four time and uh, get everything going with the rainforest and the forest now yeah, we do have also him with a wonder fountain of youth to the northeast and it looks like uh, moving forward towards nader Shah on the east side of uh, persia we do have him uh, kind of in a pre sim position he's gonna have uh, this river to go for which is the Karke River, uh, Karke River, while uh, he's uh, starting to get his uh, tiki huts from around his territory. We're going to need to see what uh, is he going to go for cities here, if he's going to want to settle coastal or not, if he's going to try to get some uh, trade routes with uh, Scythia, but I'm pretty sure the internal trade routes are going to be his choice since he is Persia, the culture Persia. Uh, Pionero you know, will actually have a lot of stone tiles to improve here in the capital city. I do notice one, two, three, four, five, six stone tiles in the capitals and uh, others sprinkled through the other part of the, his territory. Stone circles could definitely be a possibility if uh, he's going to have the choice for it. Uh, looking forward, we do need to take a look at Macedon here. We did talk a little bit about him, but looking right now, we do have three patches for him to improve. Uh, quite a bit of food that can be acquired um, 
either immediately from um, uh, gathering the wheat tiles or improving them and getting it uh, over time we do have him also with um and the horses in the third ring which are gonna be quite expensive but he does have a direct forward settle against his opponent Porogen he could get his city on the 1-1 one -one and benefit from uh, quite a few other tiles and of course put his encampment directly in the face of Japan. Uh, Japan will probably go uh, sailing into Harbor here as his first choice and this might actually slow him down quite a bit to get to his bronze working and uh, get his own general we've seen of course the uh, players uh, succeeding in doing that mostly because uh, their opponents were a bit slow. We're going I need to see if this game is going to be the same. Um, also, Ken, good evening, sir. Thoughts on Etemenanki nerf? I don't really like the new Etemenanki. I, I don't really like it. Like, it's so situational. I, I don't know. I, I, I don't like it. No, I mean, it's still good to have that extra production, and uh, you, but getting the science, it's a problem. And most of the time, you didn't really go for Etemenanki for the production. You more went for the science. Or at least that's my impression. Anyway, uh, Genghis Khan, let's actually take a look here, Korakorum, we do have uh, Settlers coming up in two turns, and yes, he's going to have Kokustan to also benefit from the E side, he does also have some tiles to improve, the, the no tile to give him instant food, which he will need to actually get uh, Kokustan uh, done, what, what is this uh, P1, Pen, what is this, is this a remap, is he asking for a remap, or, yeah, he's asking for a remap, okay, saying remap so we got a third map so that's it guys we got uh, two remaps they spend their, both of their uh, remap tokens looks like they didn't even wait until turn eight to see what's going on and they said a remap to this well first of all he saw a macedonian warrior <laughs> next to his uh, borders <laughs> kick uh, it is what it is bro it is what it is Let's finish up the predictions on uh, both uh, Twitch and uh, YouTube. Let me actually take a quick peek over here and uh, complete the prediction. How many remaps? Uh, two of them have been spent. Uh, and we will go to see the third map, which is going to reveal to us in just a few seconds. And hopefully we're going to see... Um, um, a much more balanced game this was a bit i mean i wouldn't say really unbalanced but it was uh, quite a chaotic game but i guess you know that's the side effect of the civilizations they pick they are extremely aggressive civilizations uh well kind of except age of empire that's it oh that's a big inland sea okay so uh, now uh, we're actually going to talk a little bit about his their strategics as well since uh, there's no more remap we don't have a countdown timer until uh, we're actually going to uh, start it up or uh, need to reset so it's fine we can just take it um as we usually do and talk a little bit more about them uh, okay so let's take it from the left where is a cyrus and uh, why is he not showing up here cyrus did we oh 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 the two purges are actually together marhammer and the pioneer are actually quite close together uh, wait are we gonna see some immortal versus immortal action how does this work immortal versus immortal action uh, is it nobody dying or something they're just uh, shooting each other in the foot and uh, nothing happens they're uh, making fun of it going to parties and hey look at that shoot me in the foot <laughs> yeah nothing happened okay let's drink some more <laughs> And we do have uh, Pasagarde getting his scout out in three turns, and I do notice he's uh, also going to have a decent amount of 2 2s around his uh, capital city. He does also have a sheep tile, a 3 1, and uh, some iron to improve in the second ring. His horses are going to be quite uh, expensive in the third ring to the north and fourth ring, which of course he's going to need to settle for. Uh, we don't really have him with another uh, city easy to uh, improve to the north with uh, the possibility of fresh water. He's going to need to either put it on the coast or uh, go a little bit further, or of course, non fresh water because that's also a possibility. Ability. Usually the players when they are going choosing um, non fresh water cities they do try to get something out of it you know like an amenity or a lot of food or something and this one doesn't really make sense so I'm pretty sure he's gonna try to uh, look at his south and see what kind of options he has of course he's settled on the cotton tile southwest and another settle on the um, aluminium tile that he's gonna get access to um, 
I would say. Uh, more of these two tools when he's gonna buy them. And I'm pretty sure he's gonna want to use those mountain tiles for some extra adjacency towards uh, campuses. Uh, could definitely work with a guy from Plaza in between to give it uh, to prioritize the science over the um, economy. Uh, we do have uh, to take a look also on Victoria. It looks like uh, London is gonna get his uh, volcano next to, and I do see one big continent and no other continent uh, close by to him. He's gonna have this uh, to the south of Engazargamu or uh, the, I guess, um, how to say, Mer not the meridian. Or the col anyway, you know what I mean. The line uh, from, uh, on the vertical. Uh, we do have uh, London getting his uh, scout out in three tens, and I do notice a three fish tile here, a three one one is gonna need to be improved. Uh, he didn't actually choose to go builder first. He definitely wants to scout out his territory and see what's going on. Being uh, whoa, 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 being quite close to his ally here to the North Korakorum, he will know there's nobody in between them, but there might be somebody on the west side, and he needs to send uh, at least another unit towards him. Well, if Scythia is gonna be quite far away, he's not gonna get to apply power against Kazandar from the beginning Scythia is uh, probably going to focus his efforts against uh, Marhammer which of course uh, will probably have a decent amount of army uh, ooh, Cithi oh my god chocolate hills Scythia bro chocolate hills Scythia guys hmm. <laughs> oh my god it's only a flesh wound yeah exactly it's only a flesh wound yeah anyway uh, we do need to see also um uh, London strategic side in the first ring here in London we do have a horse style in the third ring he could settle uh, some of those uh, lakes for the fresh water and I'm pretty sure he's gonna want to get his royal David dockyards as quickly as possible so he can benefit from uh uh, obviously the extra gold and the ability to go for more traders uh looking at uh, kazakh genghis khan is going to be to the north of uh, age of empires and to the east uh, of pionero that's uh, an opponent that he could go against if of course his ally survives over here maybe later on uh, kazakh can be the hero and come and take down persia to liberate the other persia we got kurakurum with already a three to one spy style being worked and some truffles here oh my god that's a lot of pigs bro uh, anyway we do have uh, truffles over here two two threes and uh, some two one threes that will need improvements and i do notice he's also gonna have a bit of a problem with another city to the northeast he can't really settle it in a correct position but it's still gonna be uh, out there right on the stone tile he can get it it's just not gonna be ideal i i don't know maybe it's just me but i have like um I would say a fear of getting these cities with uh, too many tiles uh, to attack into like four or five uh, tiles to attack into it seems a bit too much um with that's just me that's i'm pretty sure it's just my ocd talking uh we do need to take a look also on his strategics he does have uh, his horse in the third ring towards the northeast and his iron in the south here in the third ring uh, we do see definitely better tiles here in the south with spine tiles galore and uh, some access to some amber tiles that's going to be pretty pog for him uh, we do need to see how he's going to open up looking at his text he's actually going for uh, campuses and or commercial spottery coming up in one turn and uh, i don't really see something well i guess he will want to get um, irrigation for spices but i would imagine animal husband is just going to be the easier choice uh, to get the, um, the pigs improved here Anyway, now let's actually move forward and see what um, Alexander is going to do. He's actually going to be on the very far west uh, with uh, only one opponent to do go against. That's going to be Vietnam over here. And by the looks of it, uh, they are starting to meet each other. It's just one forest that is separating the two opponents from snatching each other's anyway now we do have uh settlers coming up in five days from pella and i do notice he's gonna have this honey settled to the south and the uh, more settlers to the southeast uh well there's a decent amount of territory actually to settle in the north but a lot of it it's coastal uh not uh, that much uh, fresh water to benefit from uh, those housing points well pella uh, getting his scout out in five will need to push back vietnam and uh, try to keep him apart from his cities or far away from his cities yeah, looking at his uh, settle, he has a horse tile in, three, in the second ring here to the west side and I do notice uh, an iron tile but that's going to be very expensive. Third ring out to the southwest doesn't seem like he's going to get that anytime soon unless he of course settles the city much closer to that location to that iron tile. Uh, well, we do need to move forward and see what Pionero is doing here and right next to uh, Nader Shah looks like um, he's getting his settler out in four turns. He has the Coco, the Coco. 
is here on Pionero, but he's uh, he only has one single Coco tile, so I don't know if that's enough. We do need to see if he's gonna try to follow set his opponent or not. He does have some uh, plus four campuses that he could go for, but I'm pretty sure it's much more juicier to go for the east or the south settles. A lot more um, chops and a lot more a lot better tiles to work at the beginning of the game. This just lacks food, man. Like this just doesn't have any food. Anyway, uh, we do need to see um, him choosing his uh, locations here. There are quite a few uh, choices that he could go for and i can't really say that many of them are bad this one is probably the worst one of all and like if you get greedy to go for that plus four campus you probably irrel yourself anyway now we do have uh, him also benefiting from a horse tile in the second ring and uh, i do notice his iron is again expensive but that's uh, we're talking about the other team now and uh, yes we did have some uh, iron close by to the players uh, on the other side now looking at uh, euclid we do have a uh, battery you to the east of macedon and uh, yes he is trying to sneak his warrior through uh, the macedonian territory to see how his uh, capital looks like and it does seem like macedon is just gonna pass by he's not gonna interact with the warrior that much uh Tang Long just got a settler out and uh, we do see his builder is uh, trying to uh, discover his east side he does have a decent amount of fresh water uh, from the rivers and not to mention some of these rainforest and forest tiles which are gonna help him put down those districts and um, get his uh, setups going i would imagine also thans is gonna be a priority here we do have him uh, going for mining in four turns and foreign trade in uh, five seven seven uh Thandorius, hello there sir good man good man uh i wonder why the devs uh, thought to put a, a pick of pig instead of poop looking truffles yes yes i i don't know <laughs> but uh it just i don't know i i it is what it is right they're uh, they're pigs eating stuff from mushrooms okay that's an uh, that's another question why did they put mushrooms next to the pig's face kick anyway uh it is what it is man it is what it's probably the designer at some point you know had uh, one of those um uh, one of those uh party nights and he was uh, oh i need to go back to work right now okay it's fine guys it's fine I go back to work the 5 a.m he was back at his office trying to do something and he thought okay what do i need to do now truffles what do i think of truffles well pigs eating poop next to mushrooms that's it guys that's it okay it's fine and then he, I do, he draws this and then goes home <laughs> it is what it is job done bro job done it is what it is we go next uh let's see hojo tokimun let's see what's going on here he's getting his uh, settled out in uh on the east side and oh oh don't get me wrong this is just for entertainment purposes and i'm pretty sure they had a valid reason for doing that icon for how the icon looks like right now i'm just making fun of the situation and not really really explaining what happened in reality okay okay big disclaimer over there woo, woo. warning warning anyway now we got uh, kyoto with another setter coming up in four turns and i do notice he's gonna have a continent split on the east side definitely gonna benefit from other amenities than his original continent that's gonna be quite nice for him uh, we do have him also with so much coast to settle on the west side is uh, also gonna probably want to do something against his eastern persia and uh, he could actually try to get some samurai against the uh, marhammer here which kind of looks like he's gonna get he got the short end of the stick here and that's uh, quite a lot of uh, civilization spawning next to him uh oh anyway if it's somebody that you want to oh, have on the front line it's probably gonna be persia or macedon or you know genghis yeah yeah there we go uh they use pigs to find truffles bc th uh, hello that's it yeah thank you thank you they use the pigs to find the truffles oh, i see smell the poop yes yes anyway Athena, not your poop. We're talking about other kind of poop. Not your poop. Okay? Okay, Athena. Where you look? Where you look? What is it? Come on. Try to commentate? Try to commentate? Okay. 
Well, uh, let's uh, take a look uh, at his strategics. We do have uh, Iron Titan in the third ring, and I do notice Kyoto is gonna have a horse tire right next to his uh, capital. So many bananas is uh, gonna have uh, a lot of food in his empire, I gotta say. Oh my god, that capital is gonna be quite big. Uh, okay, so we do have uh, the good luck, have fun uh, being thrown out over here, and uh, I do notice uh, Corrosion is a few turns away, two turns away from actually settling. We do uh, need to take a look at his uh, final ally, Tomaris. Uh, which is gonna be to the south of oh, oh my god look at look at Persia go man he's getting oh yeah I, wait he got it set mm. <laughs> I was I don't know if it happened to you but for a second that I was very confused why I see two settlers from Persia and in my mind it was okay Persia should be blocking like the northern civilization should be blocking the southern civilization spawn but why are the colors inversed? <laughs> oh no! Uh, yeah, but they have white non truffle types all around. I see. Wait, Athena is trilingual, Romanian, English, and cat? Yes, yes, and Sasu. She knows everything. I don't know if she knows that much cat. Because, you know, I don't really keep her with the other cats. She tends to play with the big one, but the big one doesn't really want to play with her. She's kind of he's kind of lazy and he just wants to do his own thing during the day. Uh, but um, uh, and the other one, the mother of the big one, really doesn't want to handle her. And she's, she's like, no, no, you, you go out. I, I scratch you if you don't go out. Oh my god, we got we got Persia here doing massive damage to City. I don't know how Dagger okay lost this settler, but it looks like he's gonna give a free city to Persia, and that's gonna be amazing, by the way, for uh, Marhammer to benefit from. We do have him with uh, quite a few spots to go for. I would imagine he might even uh, want to settle directly forward in his opponent face on the olive tile and try to get as quickly as possible to his uh, immortal and kill off City before any kind of City and unit is coming out. Wait, Dagger is going for. Uh, United writing. Primer, Greg 242. Hey, Greg 242, thank you so much for the Prime. Thank you, sir. Ah, City, I lost the setter, but worth it. Persia can keep it. Yes, yes, that is that is so true. That is so true. Uh, Dagger, okay, here already benefits from his horses, and he's uh, gonna get a pantheon pretty quickly with the help of the Kurgan. He does have some cocos for the extra gold, but not a lot of production on them. And I do see his iron tile is gonna be second ring to the southeast. Oh, he didn't move. Well, he can move. It's fine. I'm actually quite curious. Looks like he doesn't want to settle the olive tile. He doesn't want to be as aggressive as I was thinking. But he is going to settle that 2 2 forest to the northeast. And uh, yeah, that scout of uh, Scythia is trying to um, shadow him. Maybe, maybe he's going to get him back. But it doesn't look like that's going to happen. Let's see what's going on here. No, nothing's happening. We got Cardiff uh, getting uh, smacked around by the gods of Siv and getting one of those massive forest fire next to it. Uh, oh my god, burning its population to the ground here. Uh, okay, we got Macedon also getting a settler out in two. His volcano exploded. We know what that means. We got Vietnam already in his face, uh, trying to stop him from uh, getting too much in uh, Vietnam's uh, direction. While Thang Dong did uh, get another settler to the east side, he does have uh, builders coming around to start improving stuff. And we do have a third city also getting out soon and of course turn 15 here with his half city are still trying desperately trying to get his second city out there uh, while marhammer is gonna get his uh, third and the fourth city quite soon he did not choose anything in the production queues of susa or at least we don't see it i would imagine uh, usually it is a monument but uh, maybe he has other plans I don't think he should keep that much production going though it's not gonna roll over as he thinks he's gonna roll over it used to be that you can just shift enter production for like turns and not non-ending turns like 10 12 15 turns and the players uh, sometimes so before they got nukes they everybody was shift entering their cities uh, so uh, they can one turn the nuke after it um after the technology got finished and the four of course the project got finished for Manhattan project wow yeah that was the that was quite a day quite a day Quite a period. Uh, whoa, Ave Machiavelli stream is uh, 720p. Wait, is it? Oh my god. Wait a second. Uh, video. I know what it is because it's scaled. I need to restart stream if uh, I do this. Give me a second so I can uh, switch something on YouTube and I can. Uh, uh, yes, yes. This is important. This is important. 
Does it even work if I uh, stream a 1080p afterwards? I guess uh, it doesn't matter that much, but uh, might be different. We'll see. Let me actually switch. Uh, just I will restart the stream in just a few seconds. Okay, just a few. Se yep. There we go. There we go. We're back. We're back. I see good, uh, good, uh, good transmission. Good transmission. Okay, we should be back. Everybody back. We got, uh, we got everybody back. Well, nobody left. I guess I don't know. One of the two. And uh, hopefully we're gonna have the 1080p activated. There we go. 1080p source is activated. Sorry, sorry, but thank you so much, Machiavelli, for uh, pointing this out. One detail that did escape me. It is what it is. Yeah, we do have uh, slingers coming out from Susa, and I do notice some more hammer did manage to get that settler across the river. And we did also have uh, relics from somewhere. I don't know who, but I'm gonna find out quite quickly. It looks like uh, Zach, uh, Genghis Khan, did manage to get a relic. He's also uh, getting his uh, campuses down, and I do notice uh, he's not gonna have amazing ones like a plus one over here, a plus three over here, and the third the city moving towards the west side. I'm actually quite curious where is he gonna go for. I would imagine here somewhere for the better tiles. Uh, while uh, yes, there is also the the Riketage to the northwest, not that big. They bought a Scythia Settler. Oh, they did buy Scythia Settler. They did. That's a massive gold investment, and it looks like uh, Persia is also getting some investments from his uh, allies here. A lot of gold is being poured through the Persian Empire to get some slingers going. He's upgrading his warriors, and we do have him moving towards the south. Arctic Winds! Thank you so that much for the prime. Primer. Arctic Winds. Yeah, it's back and it's uh, all okay now. Ave Machiavelli, please confirm. Please confirm. You are the man, Machiavelli. Let's go. Mozdrat, welcome back. Welcome back. Okay, okay. We're back. We're back. Yeah, yeah. Uh, might have been a bit of a switch over here, but I hope uh, it's fine. Let me see. It's the stream back on uh, YouTube also. Also, good evening, uh, Raglastero. Hello. Uh, because truffles are mushrooms and they t hunt truffles with pigs. I see, Raglastero. Good evening, sir. Thank you. Now, that's, that's very good information here. Thank you. Thank you, sir. I do want to double check if it's uh, fine on YouTube as well. You do have the 1080p. Yes, you do. You should have the 1080p, right? Okay. Hopefully. Anyway, now let's actually see. Persia did manage to take down uh, one of his opponent's units, and uh, that was the unit from of Scythia on the west side. While he does have a bit of a problem, there are some Persian units on the right side, and that's going to be his opponent. Cyrus here is not going to let it go. He does want to help out his teammate uh, to um, attack into his opponent and get back that extra city he has. Well, we do have a few more slingers getting out, and I do see Marhammer is going to get that city to the west. That is going to be in front of uh, Japan, though, and uh, Japan is not is getting unscathed out of all of this uh, fighting going on to the east side of him we do have city also managing to get that settled in the south where england is oh my god he's gonna cross the river does he see this he doesn't see this oh my god he doesn't see uh i think guys i think we need to put up a prediction i think we need to put up a prediction will city lose a second settler yes no Start prediction. Let's go, boys. Let's go. Twitch chat. Let's go. Let's go. Put the points in. I have a wonderful electronic invention I want you to It is what it is. <laughs> Show you. Oh my god, he's getting in there. Anyway, City, I did manage to get a scout escort, and I do notice uh, the warrior is uh, not getting the vision over that. He's, uh, uh, the English scout did cross the river, and uh, we do have City, by the way, uh, trying to go for the Chocolate Hills. I'm actually surprised he didn't go f uh, initially there. He should have gotten his uh, second city over there to uh, benefit from those extra science points, the production and the food. Uh, we do need to see if uh, there's going to be a way for England to actually stop this from uh, happening. He might actually just cross with his uh, scout a little bit too late. Oh my, oh my god. Oh, it's all up to the first moves. Oh. Too late. Okay. He was too late. Kazandar moved the wrong unit. He moved the wrong unit. 
It is what it is. We do have Cynthia with the ability to just settle in place that if he needs to, that's not a problem. And of course, uh, still we're going to benefit from the extra production there. It is what it is. Yeah, peekaboo. Yeah, we need to finish the prediction now because I'm pretty sure everybody's going to vote now and get the points from the others. Uh, choose outcome. Uh, no, no. Okay, we got it. We got it. Okay, so uh, uh, Citrus, um, sorry, uh, some Slingers coming up from Pokeru Far as well. While I do notice uh, Cynthia has been doing quite a bit of damage against Persia here with another Warrior, I do notice uh, the Warrior of um, you know, Cyrus did die at the hands of these uh, Slingers. So we do have Inkyamans already being put down by Persia and he's starting to connect his uh, city so he gets a faster uh, movement between all of those. And he's gonna get his fourth city to the west side, and I think this is a bit of a mistake. I think uh, it would have been much better to send it to the northeast and uh, not really really give uh, japan a way towards your empire and well it is what it is he's either gonna want to get some marble paths that improved uh, to get his extra amenities up and uh, from what i do notice he still did not improve his strategic resources no uh, mm, see if he, uh, we'll get a promotion here and that is gonna be deadly actually the warrior is gonna be quite deadly against uh, these slingers and uh, we do have uh, also marhammer actually getting his item working in 12 getting a builder from pasagarde and uh, another warrior from shari ikumis uh, i do notice his item tile is gonna be two tiles out from the northeast uh, to the northeast of pasagarde not really a problem for him to go for it uh, i think my main concern is dagger is gonna be quite late on uh, his units he's uh, five turns away from bronze working and i would imagine he's not really gonna want oh my Look at England just bullying City over here, getting his warriors and his uh, scout at the same time to actually pillage the tiles of City that he used his builder charge. The sweat and tears of those builders are in those pastures and in the Kurgan. And he's just gonna rip them apart. Kazandar, no mercy, man. No mercy. He's just taking his opponent down here, dragging him by the feet. Well, now let's see what's happening on the west side because I'm pretty sure Macedon is going to come out swinging. We do have uh, Vietnam already seeing these in Camon starting to uh, finish here from Macedon. And yes, we do have uh, three of them getting out. Macedon is starting to improve his uh, strategic resources and his amenities. I do see a honey tile improved there. Uh, so he can uh, get some uh, happy citizens uh, going. He did get his mercury tile and uh, of course his honey tile. So that puts him uh, at least, at least over the content level. That's fine. He, uh, he will, of course, want to get his... Uh, um, happy or ecstatic bonus, but that's just not in the cards right now. Hello, there, man. Hello, there, man. How are you doing? Now we do need to uh, take a look also at the tans finishing. Vietnam is gonna get a few of them, one, two, three, uh, and right next to each other. And I do notice he's keeping a tile for his government plaza. Uh, we do have uh, Thang Long getting another set out in six turns, and uh, I do notice he started improving some of his uh, pastures and, of course, amenities here. Uh, definitely wants to get a lot more series before he's gonna start swinging. And I do notice Euclid is on seven signs with only three culture, but that's gonna change immediately after he gets the other tans and getting those that those extra GCC points. The war keeps on raging. Persia is managing to get uh, Morning Camons down and I do notice the second one from Pasagarde is uh, beginning put down there. Sharikum is, uh, still needs to keep on building warriors while of course he did put on uh, the Gogi card. He is going to do quite a bit of damage against his opponent and uh, we do see right now how Scythia's warrior is suffering at the hands of the great Persian uh, menace. Well, we do have uh, also Persia able to actually chop this in Camon if he wants to and um, then get the two more it's right next to it so he gets um, the iron improved i'm actually quite curious how quickly does he want uh, that uh, iron improved because uh, he will need as quickly as possible as much iron as his team can get to him so he can upgrade his um warriors into uh, those immortals you need like what seven a pop or something like that now we do have him also placing down his city on the marble tile getting him uh, one extra point of uh, culture and of course the amenity from it not to mention he's gonna have access to some coco tiles making his people quite happy uh, and i do notice he didn't improve his horse tiles those are quite expensive and he's not gonna prioritize going for them he desperately needs a few more uh, upgrades though we're gonna need to see here definitely the iron a few um, like some other allies going for iron he needs somebody else to go for iron with him uh pionero not pionero sorry marhammer kazandar is he going for iron i'm pretty sure not right in celestial navigation yeah kazak might be going for iron he just got uh, mining 
He's getting his builders out. He already improved his uh, three. He built his uh, three campuses and he's getting uh, actually no two campuses and a commercial here from Axel. He's uh, getting a decent amount of science from those. Uh, not to mention uh, going for another wave of uh, settlers here. Not really going for iron. Does he even have iron? He, uh, he I think he did have iron somewhere. Maybe he actually placed a district on it. Is this the iron tile underneath um, the campus or somewhere? Because I, I don't see iron. Do you see iron here? I don't see iron here. It should be somewhere, but I just don't see it. It must be underneath uh, either one of the districts or uh, the city centers. Oh, my chance. There we go. Okay. Let's see. Oh, Scythia is trying to take out one English warrior wow he's uh also <laughs> he might uh, lose this city to loyalty in napolis anyway we got encampments uh, getting built quite quickly i do notice that okay he's very ba barely getting his bronze working in two turns and he's trying to put down campuses he's uh gamble to go campuses first i'm not that convinced it's gonna work yes he's trying to get two of them but that's gonna take a lot of um time and i don't think he has time i'm uh, definitely thinking uh his opponent the purja here is gonna get his immortals as quickly as he possibly can and also try to get uh, one general for his units to benefit from the extra movement and those extra points of uh, damage he can definitely do a big mess over here in the lands of uh, Scythia he already ripped a part of the empire of Scythia with that settler he wants some more he wants to go for everything well, we do have um, also the other Persia that's going to be uh, Pionero here on the right side with uh, Pingala opening and I do see a Cedric going out there, uh, but he did want to put a chop in and uh, go back to his commercial. He does want to get uh, competitive when it comes to those merchants, not to mention it looks like Zankian is the first one, so he's going to get an extra trade route capacity. If he does manage to recruit that one, that's going to be quite important. He des des definitely needs... Yeah, to get another two series out since he opened up like this he won't have an easy opportunity to go for units here to attack his opponent as you can see bronze working coming up in three turns uh, not really the ideal situation but i guess he's gonna have the science from uh, governor pingala he, is, he, is this a governor pingala internal opening from pionero this is kind of what it looks like, right? Governor Pingala, is, uh, you know, he does have uh, the uh, right side promotion, shared knowledge. Domestic trade-offs to the Pingala series do provide you with the plus three science. So if you do go that way, well, you're going to get quite a few points. I, I guess it is a possibility there. It is a possibility. With Wallace Throne, with um, uh, war, Drums of War and uh, so on, they, he should want turn units anyway. Yeah, oh, well, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Now uh, we do have the iron improved here in the series of Pasagarde. There still is a Persian builder with two charges available to uh, work here, and I'm actually uh, curious if he's gonna want to get that um, get that general project extremely quickly or is he gonna wait for it he's uh, gonna start rolling two points a turn here but he does he desperately needs at least one project if he wants to get it in a good amount of time in four turns he's gonna have iron working and the ability to actually improve his warriors into immortals uh, which are gonna be much much stronger than anything that Cynthia can put out for some time um iron under uh, ulan batar campus under oh i see it's over here i see thank you thank you we don't see it, it just disappeared from the game. That is so weird. Uh, hello there, uh, Yuri Goes. Good evening, sir, and welcome. How are you? How are you? Okay. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Okay, Persia still getting uh, some upgrades, see some chops and so on. I finished up the first uh, commercial. It's going to take some time for him to actually recruit a great merchant. I do see Macedon on the west side. Uh, we do have him um, getting another wave of settlers, or one settler, because he's uh, finishing up his monument in Asteropoli. We got some pantheons here. Religious settlements uh, got picked up by Macedon. Not initiation rights. Interesting. Did somebody else pick initiation rights? Got a one and plunder for. Vietnam getting the extra general points from the thans are actually going to make these thans much better uh, we got goddess of festivals from um from Japan, while of course the uh, banana economy here is going to give him some extra culture points, that's going to be quite nice. I mean, he's branding the banana economy, makes sense, right? Hey, Yuri, hello on YouTube, hello. 
We got uh, also a god of the force chosen by Persia. He's gonna want to hard build as many of those units as he possibly can. Of course, uh, not using the gold of his team for anything else. Initiation eyes did get picked up by Sith. Yeah, Dagger, okay. He's gonna get a few of those um, uh, faith points from building units not that many and not as many as you would want to though uh, i do also notice uh, the moment we do have a dagger going for archery in three turns he's very far away from getting horses while uh, marhammer is two turns out from getting iron working the only problem is the actual iron he's on four points here okay he's gonna probably need one point from somebody else to get that uh, upgrade or wait another turn which is still gonna be way way faster than dagger is gonna get his um um, how to say, uh, his um, technology, his horseback riding. One of the major problems here is uh, how slow the start is for uh, campuses without that much science or without that much adjacency. If you're talking about, for example, Coracorum choosing to get a plus a three versus getting a plus one or plus zero, it's a major difference at the beginning. You would say that maybe later on you would catch up because of how the district discount works and you go with campuses into, uh, into commercials or into encampments and then you catch up with the other districts and so on and so forth. But um, that actually requires quite a bit of time and preparation and especially when you're on the front line you just cannot afford to do it it's uh, very hard to actually uh, judge when your opponent is going to get his units you can there are signs of when that will happen uh, but uh, still uh, there is nothing uh, extremely definitory so you still need to get your defense up uh, that extra production that you would put into campuses would need to actually go into units uh, so you just cannot afford to go for this uh, slow of an opening Unfortunately, we, we do see this happening in slow motion and Dagger is uh, going to have a major problem here getting his um, classical units out. That's the unit that actually increases the garrison defense. Defense strength is the upgrade of uh, a warrior or um, uh, getting the horse, I guess. Warrior or horse. A swordsman or horse. Anyway, uh, we do have some uh, archers uh, getting out and uh, Marhammer is going to start peppering the Scythian uh, units while I do see um, also some slingers are coming off from Scythia. He is going to still need archery to get those upgraded. Oh my... Oh my, he's gonna get exactly the amount of iron he needs for one upgrade with exactly the amount of gold. Let's see. Yeah, 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 yeah. Very close to the amount of gold that he needs at the correct moment in time to get one single immortal against Scythia. One immortal against the Empire of Scythia. Anyway, uh, let me actually uh, put up also the prediction for the game. Who will win? We still have uh, quite a few moves by the players uh, that can be done. And on one side, we do have uh, Easy Katka going against the Lethal Company from the other side. And uh, of course, a submission period for 30 minutes. That's going to be, yeah, quite a bit of time. Iron under. Uh, okay, I did see that. Okay, okay, it's fine. I'm uh, up to date over here with the chats. Uh, let's put this uh, here. I do want to put it up on um, also, let's see, end the poll here on uh, YouTube. We did have. For the one option actually winning um, uh, on YouTube, it looks like this time around, which uh, did us uh, nail it. It was the second option, option two, two remaps, I should say. The third option, option uh, with the two remaps, did win the day here. Uh, let's uh, put up the poll for uh, who will win also here. Who will win? Uh, easy Katka or Lethal Company. There we go. Start the poll. I'm also sorry I had to restart the stream, unfortunately, of course, uh, not having 1080p does matter. So, yeah, it is what it is. Uh, two... Ooh, wait a second, we got uh, two... Why is he making two of these encampment training projects? I think one was enough. Is he trying to deny somebody? Maybe they're trying to deny Vietnam uh, his uh, general. Because, uh, yeah, Macedon is definitely gonna want to get them. But he's not denying them. Wait a second. He's not denying Why is... No. Anyway, it is what it is. If he does manage to get two generals, he's still going to be fine. He does need the general on the west side and one in the south to finish the job against Scythia. While uh, he is going to get the upgrade right now, he is uh, just putting... There we go. He's putting... Oh, look at the strength of the immortal, man. Just overpowering the warrior. He doesn't even know what hit him. The slinger? Not to mention the slinger. He's just dead. And we do have uh, some scouts also running around the territory here of uh, Scythia, not really knowing where to go, but they do see stones being thrown at them and the sun some uh, weird looking sticks with pointy th with uh, pointy um, tips it is what it is 
uh, Victor in Napoli in three turns, and uh, I do notice Pokoroka is uh, gonna get another trader here. Well, he would have an encounter from Panzerik, which is gonna take quite a bit of time to finish. Still, no freshwater city here um, to benefit from this. Uh, he probably did get a granary in there, didn't he? Yeah, he did get a granary for the extra housing, allowing him to work a few more of these chocolate hill tiles, giving him the extra science he desperately needs. Since right now, Dagger is on nine signs with four culture, while Marhammer is 11 and 7. Not that big of a difference, but if you take a look at the production capabilities of uh, both of their empires, a totally different story appears. 42 production on Marhammer with uh, Dagger OK only on 27. Okay, let me actually take a look here. City Patreon Gun is also chosen by uh, the other Persia, by Pionero. He is putting down his first in Camel here and finishes uh, commercials. Uh, definitely has a chance to go for Zankian, while also Mongolia, Genghis Khan, did manage to get a merchant point. Uh, we do have uh, Stone Circles chosen by uh, Mongolia as a Pantheon, and uh, he already got a few Stone Tiles improved. And uh, not to mention Ulaanbaatar is amazing right now with two for one Tiles uh, next to that city center and some Spices for good measure. He's uh, putting down his and finishing them up after he did go for uh for his uh, campuses. Gavron Plaza from Korakorum gonna boost uh, both a commercial and the uh, campus and I do notice he's sending another settler towards the north there on the lake to benefit from the fresh water. Uh, we will probably see him prepare a Keshek possible attack against Persia and that might be a bit too tough for Persia to handle. We do have um, we do have also Marhammer starting to push in a little bit more into the lands of Scythia with his immortal he's gonna need to cross the river so he can actually smash into the city center as quickly as possible possible i would imagine he really wants to smash into the city before it gets uh, more garrison defense and uh, yes we do need to see if uh, he's gonna have enough archer shots uh, to actually take out the city and defenders now we do have some more uh, units coming up from pokrovka being trained very slowly spearmen are coming up in two turns from that city center well, without that much iron on uh, Cyrus, it's going to be hard for him to uh, outpace his opponent, but he is uh, starting to get those going. Look at that. Pasagarde getting another immortal. Shari Kumi is getting another immortal. He's starting to get the first uh, attacks on uh, Napoli. He's not losing a lot of health, even if it attacks from across the river on a warrior. Okay, so uh, Golden Age, probably in all of the players, yes, on each of the players actually, uh, call it like that. We do have uh, more units attacking the city center, and uh, I do see Marhab, and he's not even caring about the units. He's just going headfirst into the city to take it down, and we do need to see if Dagger is going to manage to uh, stop this from happening. He is going to get another archer uh, next turn, and I've got to say, I'm very surprised about the choice of uh, Marhammer's uh, Immortal to move on the banana instead of uh, moving across the river on the archer he could have just taken the city next and if he would have done that yes the archer wouldn't have shot but mm, not that big of an issue no i guess uh, you can shoot with the archer but then uh, the slinger doesn't get to shoot he's gonna shoot another city and you anyway it is what it is um priorities 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 we do have a uh, great general uh, appearing in the city of susa the first uh, the, another immortal the first immortal that got trained is coming out of his series and i do notice uh, persia here will have the opportunity to recruit another one of these did he get wait a second he got two of these uh, no he got only one he probably moved away from building uh, from getting a second in camel training project didn't he or uh, he, yeah anyway he didn't finish it one of the two now we do uh, see Macedon uh, starting on his Basiliki base this is the special building the unique building of uh, Macedon replacing the um, what is the stable right and uh, giving him the opportunity to get some science out of his uh, build and training of units which is going to be quite nice for Macedon in this position while he is uh, going to get uh, more production towards uh, building his units as well uh, looking at Marhammer Exodus of the Evangelist is going to give him the extra um, iron and the extra horses that he's gonna desperately need not to mention the extra production that he's gonna get towards building these units with God of the forge and everything else he's doing a, quite a bit of a splash here against uh, his opponent against Scythia and now right now putting his immortal right next to the city and city and city Napolis which is gonna also get some uh, general points uh, but soon next turn and to have uh, Scythia here uh, valiantly defending with uh, multiple units, but he doesn't have horseback riding yet. It's coming out next turn and looking at his um, faith per turn, he doesn't have enough faith to buy it, uh, buy a horse out. Maybe they're going to have enough gold. Uh, no, they're not going to have enough gold. So I guess he's going to need to chop it, but he doesn't have a chop. Oh. Oh. Yeah. 
I feel a disturbance in the force, guys. I feel a disturbance in the force. Uh, it is what it is, man. It is what it is. <laughs> oh my god. Anyway, nuclear ancon. Hello there, sir. Yeah, let's get some points into the poll. Cleo's in. Yeah, what happened in the poll over here? Yeah, uh, somebody just dropped a hundred thousand points. Oh, we got the big rollers getting in. Cassio's link issue has joined the round table. <laughs> Uh, Cassius Linker Shoe, good evening, sir, and welcome. Thank you so much for the follow. Oh, we got a riot going on here. Yeah, yeah, we got a riot. Wait, yeah, yeah, it is what it is, bro. Wait, wait, wait. I got one of my own. Check this out. Let, let, oh, wait, what is it? Explode, right? Boom! Let's go. <laughs> anyway, we got uh, Ivota Sim coming up here from uh, Susa moving toward the south, uh, trying to escort that, uh, that uh, general on the front line. I'm pretty sure he's going to be fine. We got uh, Governor Platz also finishing up from Pasagarde and moving forward, Victoria is already with five cities getting his uh, Audi chamber in the city of London and I do notice he's getting his lighthouses going for the extra trade routes I think this is the turn we're gonna see Napolis taken down yeah this is the turn he's just gonna take it last second here uh, I don't think that wait can that city take, be taken out uh, no no he can't he can't attack back into it can he like he Oh, he will have a Spearman and... Oh, yeah, yeah. He's going to have a Spearman here. This one, this Spearman is to shift enter on the 2-1. And this Immortal, to be honest, uh, it could just uh, get a promotion here and get back his health. But anyway, we'll see what happens. We'll see what his choice is. He can definitely take over the city. The Scythian... Uh, yeah, the, all of the Scythian units did attack. So there wasn't that much of a counter-attack possible there. Persia just managed to take uh, out another city of Dagger. Okay, we do have a Corrigan also managing to get um, a relic here on uh, Japan on the west side while he's preparing his Wall of Throne. Uh, we do need to get back to Victoria here. Pembrash and Voice Golden Age. We do have him 11 signs with 20 culture, 21 gold at 10. Pretty good results and of course he's gonna get a lot more. Uh, he doesn't have that many upgrades but he did get his iron upgraded so he helps out his teammate with uh, the resources he needs uh, looking at the genghis khan to his north we do have him with the uh, audience chamber coming off from his governor plaza an encam multiple encampments actually uh, are going to need to be placed down one of them is already getting built from urumki was this a misclick was this a misclick because i was thinking he's gonna get a i would say a, a campus around here somewhere but i guess it is what it is he got an encampment you now we do have uh, Genghis also 17 signs, 25 culture, pretty big right now. Uh, while uh, he is making 30 gold a turn with 51 production, he does manage to um, sim his way towards the top. Especially, I don't know what happened here to Pioniero, but uh, it looks like he doesn't really have a lot of culture going. Oh, he chose Pingala, that's why, that's what happened over here. Well, it is what it is. Uh, we do have Annapolis uh, needing uh, to be hit by multiple units of Scythia, but they can't find their way there. While we do have Persia managing to get uh, quite a few new immortals on the front line. One, two, three, four new ones are coming in with a general bonus. He will need to uh, couple that city of Napolis together with his uh, own city so he can actually pass through much, much quicker through the rainforest and the forest, not to mention the marsh tiles next to the mountains. Uh, so he can reinforce that front line and keep on pushing until he breaks Scythia. Uh, we do have uh, to take a look on uh, Macedon here on the west side. He's uh, getting his government plaza in Pella. Another Basiliki Pates is coming up from Agatha. Alexandropoli and from the cities that he did finish his Basiliki page he is starting to get the Hetaris out uh, these are going to be very strong units going against their opponents and uh, I gotta point out that they will start their attack runs quite soon against the Vietnam which at the moment does benefit from uh, strong science and culture points but he doesn't wait that's a settler well I guess uh, it is what it is he's gonna follow settle his opponent uh, right here Anyway, uh, Euclid here doesn't really have an economy to stand on and that is going to be a bit of a problem for them later on in the game while Corogen and uh, Pionero are both going to go to war against uh, Persia. It looks like Marhammer might actually irrel three players with just his presence over here in game style um, in the game. 
Uh, we do need to take a look also on a pioneer of 15 science with 14 culture. He's uh, starting to get, uh, he did manage to probably get the merchant. Yeah, he got Zankian for the extra trade route capacity while uh, he is doing other projects here. I did notice he was doing another project in Camon training projects. He wants to get a general against his opponent while uh, Persia did not get his second general. I do see, I uh, still see Shun Tzu here is in the south. He didn't roll enough points for another one, but he might, he might. I mean, he's on three points in three turns he's gonna get a general and it looks like uh, the other Persia no he's not gonna get it check this out the other Persia is not gonna get it yeah he's just not gonna get it nor will Scythia ever get it yeah because uh, the points after this, they're gonna pick four of these generals the points are gonna go up to 75 which is gonna be way more expensive than uh, 30 isn't it yeah GG well played as foils in attack position Woo yeah yeah let's go let's go let's see uh what do we have here battery you battery you getting his uh banics is going he's getting a few horses at least he's gonna have classical units while of course i see the first setaris are making their way towards the uh, vietnamese units here oh my god look at the macedonian spam one turning hetaris with uh, multiple cities coming around to get his uh, cities straight uh, Hannibal Barca also got recruited and uh, yes there's another general available did Vinam pick one? Vinam didn't get one Vinam didn't get a um oh and he's not gonna get one he's on 5.7 point no he did get a general where is his general where is Trung Truck? oh I see I see what you he was man he was going on a vacation you know this is the basically the vacation before the war the last meal of the general he needs to get onto the front line and fight the Hetaris he does know that's not gonna be easy I do have to point out these immortals are gonna make a very quick work of the spearmen the spearmen are very good against uh, anti cav units that can actually hold horses not good at all against archers or immortals or I should say melee units as the immortals we do have a few horses coming around from uh, Tarsus and Susa and I do notice that they can actually go against uh, Japan here on the highway while uh, Japan is getting his 11 science and 29 culture return to go I do see him very close to feudalism which will open up um, sad Samurais, that's going to be a very strong unit and we do need to see if uh, Persia is going to manage to get a significant defense on the city of Tarsus. Good thing is he didn't place it next to the coast so those uh, Samurais are not going to get a free plus 5 from being on the coast. Oh, that is so cute. We got the Saka horse archer, guys. Le Poney. We got a Poney over here. A pony. And he's a pony. Dagger, okay, is uh, starting to shoot with the Saka horse archer against his opponent and uh, trying to. Um, I want to say ruffle the feathers over here get him out of the forest but it looks like uh, Persia is not buckling he's getting more units against his opponent more more oh that's a dead archer yeah that's a dead archer just taking the units no fear and finally the trader did start up uh, his route from uh, Naples towards the capital city so he can actually get more points there governor Magnus is already starting to get the extra food and the uh, production on each of these traders uh, I don't see hello there sir are the team names listed at the top correctly uh, I think so I mean, maybe let me okay let me double check let me double check easy cut guys with dagger yeah EK is on the right side look 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 guys look uh, I can open up the screen there we go you see them in the so Kazandar is left right on Lethal Company, LCT, Easy Katka is on the right. Yeah, LCT, you know, LCT is um, a Lethal Company team and uh, on the right side we do have um, uh, Easy Katka, EK. I'm trying to get him to join me on the loser side of the boat. I see, I see. <laughs> anyway, uh, okay, uh, we, let's see what do we have here. What did you guys vote there that you are a bit concerned what's going on? What did you guys vote? Uh, Easy Katka 6700, Lethal Company 100,000. Oh my god. Well, I guess uh, right now Persia Lethal Company is doing some impressive work here. It is. Uh, I just didn't know about it. Okay, okay, no problem.
Yeah, we do have uh, quite a few immortals starting to make their way towards the south and they are appearing next to the borders of uh, city. Yeah. Uh, I do also notice uh, on the west side, those Setaris also appeared uh, right next to the city of Dion, which got placed uh, in the face of Vietnam. Uh, we do need to see when uh, Macedon is going to start his attack run because he just got that city of Dion. Um, Warlord Throne finishing up in Vietnam in uh, three turns. He's also going to prepare. Um, he's going to prepare against his opponent with uh, the production. He needs to keep on pumping out units. I do notice uh, we do have his barracks finishing up and another campus coming up from Guang Tree. He did manage to get a plus one with another plus uh, three here next to the capital city and the plus two next to Hualu. Uh, also Pingala establishing Hualu is going to get him that science per population. Uh, looking at uh, Persia slowly moving towards the front line has uh, still a few Saka horse archers to take out while he is. Oh my god. He's, yeah, he's just going to use that and move this and uh, kill that Saka horse archer like it's butter like it's nothing look at him he just needs to attack once flex his military mass and boom, another one goes down and we do have um to see the other Persia, Pionero trying to get his encampment training projects in three turns. That's gonna be probably way too late, right? Yeah, way too late. Look at this. He needs to get another three projects if he wants Timur. And that's gonna be a medieval renaissance um, era general. Not gonna give him the bonuses towards classical units, which of course are horses or uh, these uh, swordsmen or the unique units uh, replacing them. Now we do need to take a look also on uh, who did we miss? I feel like we missed somebody. We didn't talk about that much. Somebody, we, uh, England maybe? No, England getting his campuses. He finished most of his royal navy dockyards and getting those extra trade routes. Two, four, six cities. Uh, he's uh, also starting to upgrade his three fish tiles, which is going to be poggers. Uh, getting his amber tiles for the extra culture and amenity. While I do notice to the north, Mongolia is putting down another encampment. He's uh, getting to the second count while he is gonna get the timing going against Persia here I'm pretty sure uh, we got uh, also some of the Persian units starting to get in uh, the borders of Pokorovka and of course uh, his immortals are gonna need to actually get uh, right next to close up in person to the city center to see what's going on there and uh, smash it down Victor is already established in the capital city of uh, Scythia trying to help him uh, defend this while Pazirik is um, happily building a horse here now we do need to see what's gonna happen Kick W. Well, no. this was weird. There we go. Okay. Uh, Macedon, 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 getting the extra damage against uh, Vietnam is going to be relatively easily at the beginning because he's going to have a uh, number of superiority of units, but at the same time, these Setaris do benefit from an extra um, promotion, which will be amazing for them to replenish their health after they attack into their opponent. You can see um, he will probably want to stay away from attacking directly into this horse right now, but he could definitely go against the city of Hue and start smashing it down. There aren't that many units to uh, counter attack here, and it uh, looks like they are trying to actually cut off um, these uh, Macedonian units from uh, going to Hue, but not in a good amount of time. Wallo Strong finishing up next turn for uh, Macedon. He is getting a new Hetaris in Amphipolis and also Magnus establishing that city center. That's going to be quite nice. Okay. Uh, campus is coming up from Sheffield. Uh, in two turns and i do notice uh, we do have the first japanese UN pre-builds for um for a samurai is coming out from Sendai and Nagoya and he's uh, starting to two-turn them, three-turn them. Oh my god, that's very slow actually from uh, from Japan. World was thrown already. Did he actually choose uh, pen brush and voice? Yeah, that's the thing. He didn't actually choose his uh, good one here. Need to actually uh, switch one of them. Yeah, we go. Uh, okay. What's going on? Persia moving in. 
He's uh, moving as a block, by the way. He got his uh, units right next to each other, exactly like he should, to give themselves uh, some support bonus and uh, attack into their opponents a little bit easier. We do need to see uh, when is he going to choose to uh, get this out. Uh, start his attack, and he does have his uh, general on the front line, and Scythian does not benefit from one. Uh, Scythian does benefit from an extra plus five against uh, wounded units, though, and uh, it kind of looks like all of these are wounded units. Yeah, there we go, Vietnam starting to put the wall of uh, horses. Uh, I gotta say he got lucky that Macedon is not actually attacking directly against the city of Hue. I think uh, that city would have been gone if these uh, Hetaris did slam at least uh, two times against it. I'm pretty sure these horses would have been a bit too late to do the damage. We got Macedon uh, repairing. He did start his attack run actually with one hit against the city of Hue and I do notice one of his scouts is uh, prepared to pillage the trader of Cardiff towards that city center. More Hetaris coming off from Amphipolis where uh, there is a forest fire raging giving him some extra fertility while uh, we do need to see what's going on here it looks like Persia is managing to secure at least one tile next to Pokrovka with another one coming up to the northeast there's a builder uh, getting out from Pokrovka which I gotta say it doesn't seem like it's actually gonna get out Marhammer was not on point with his moves gave up the tile and now he's gonna need to smash through the horse it is what it is he needed to do something there but he didn't that horse is dead though that horse is just dead and he can kill the sucker horse archer also check this out bam and another bam oh we got some horses moving towards the west side marhammer is going to need to start positioning the um, Immortals to defend him, uh, his city of uh, Tarsus. He does have a builder there able to chop, and uh, it does look like he does have more than enough units to actually smash through Scythia's remaining defenses and take him down. He does need to secure his western border as quickly as possible. <laughs> While from the right side, Persia, the other Persia that's gonna be Pioneer, will get his um, <laughs> commercial taken down. Oh no, he's not. He's not. Wait, is that uh, an ally? No, that's Victoria Age of Empire. So he's not an ally, but he does have an immortal here able to uh, do the damage. I guess he's just not moving. He has the movement point. He's just not doing it. Now uh, we do have uh, more camels being placed down from uh, Mongolia with um, uh, another settler coming out from Korakorum. He can uh, easily follow settle Scythia here uh, on the west side and uh, get those uh, Keshaks out and about. Uh, Stirrups is uh, finishing up in 11 turns while Feudalism is coming up in 3. I'm pretty sure he is uh, gonna want to get a channel for himself for the medieval renaissance era and I'm pretty sure we're gonna have him go against the west here. Yeah, uh, that is gonna be a significant problem since already Macedon is starting to punch through the initial Vietnamese defenses and now Vietnam realizes the danger he finds himself in and he's gonna try to get uh, as quickly as possible some more horses out. It's just not enough production to go around. We do have some archers here positioned by Vietnam to do... Um uh, the attacks against the Macedonian units passing through this, but I gotta say, uh, if these uh, Hetaris look, na uh, look a little bit... Um, angrily at these archers they're just gonna poof into uh, oblivion it is what it is oh one two hits yeah that's it is gone that that's it is just gone being put under siege and if, even if it has a horse inside of it that's gone mm. well Scythia is about to uh, lose his capital. We do have the Persian units arriving next to that uh, city center and I do notice uh, he's not putting it under siege yet. He does need to cross the river to um, do, uh, how to say, uh, get it under siege and at the same time get another unit here on the 2-1. I'm pretty sure these immortals are going to start uh, uh, attacking from a distance the city of Pokrovka to slowly take it down while of course they do position more and more uh, on the correct sides. We're going to need to see uh, how much damage they do and of course he does have this problem here on the west which i gotta say he's kind of ignoring at the moment but he's gonna soon find out that this is a problem he cannot ignore uh, i'm pretty sure these uh, samurais are gonna do more than enough damage against the city of tarsus even against these immortals if they aren't enough in numbers and one good thing about uh, this japan did not prepare himself with enough pre-builds only has like four and as you can see uh, his cities are not producing these uh, samurais quickly enough they are a bit too uh, expensive for his um, liking 
you know we don't need to take a look if uh, Macedon is gonna get yeah look at the four other units coming up four new Hetaris are going on the front line with another three coming out from his encampment soon we will see I'm pretty sure Vietnam overwhelmed over here in the next uh, five tens if not in the next three tens or something uh, check Samurai versus, versus Immortal and Samurai wins the day hands down well, this is unfavorable terrain. Let's get this one. It's a 52 versus 43, and that's without a general. With a general, it's a 52 against 45. No, oh, this one actually had the rainforest bonus on it. I'm sorry. That's a minus three. Or you should discount that. Wow, wow, wow. Attack, attack, attack right now. Attack right now. The city is left defenseless. What is this? Attack it right now. Get it done. Yeah, there we go. 36 defense. I mean, that city is just uh, a free picking. It's a free picking. I think uh, Persia will definitely need to uh, check out his northwest. Uh, he probably sees that Japan is starting to get up in uh, strength. And I would imagine the 310 uh, strength of uh, Korochan. There we go. It's going to give him an idea what's going on. Persia did manage to get quite a, an army of builders to help him uh, chop his lands and uh, get some more stats up very much quicker. We do have him still on 15 science with 19 culture. Doesn't really have that much to work with. It's, but it's not like uh, Korochan is that far ahead either. We do have Masaru managing to take down the city of Fue. And I do see uh, Vietnam Euclid is in big troubles here he's trying to get that city back where he doesn't have uh, the correct units to take it yes these uh, these spearmen are gonna be nice but uh, with only two other archers around them they're not gonna do that much you know we do have uh, quite a few more that are is joining up the fight and uh, I do see he placed uh, Hannibal Barca in the city of Fadion or maybe he lost it somewhere around here uh, Perja about to get uh, yeah it, yeah Plus they do full damage when... D. Beasley! D. Beasley, good evening, sir. You will be proud of me. I played three games today. One of them got scrapped. Two of them got CC'd before political philosophy. <laughs> I wanted... I had to actually yesterday, and that's the reason I didn't uh, kept on streaming yesterday. Oh, we got a victory! So it's face that was quick! That was ages. quick! History is written from the hand of the victor. Unbelievably quick, actually. Unbelievable. Now I gotta say, mistakes were made. Some good timings, some uh, some good choices for Marhammer. And I gotta say, they definitely, I think, a little bit more respect about uh, the civilization leader, and it would have been fine. A little bit more, a little bit more. Uh, you can try again now. Uh, Vietnam didn't do an encampment triangle. Yeah, he didn't. He didn't. Yeah, he. he it is one. Wait, why can't you try again? Why can't you try again? Anyway, uh, let me actually move uh, to the post game chat. Let me find, figure it out where it is first, and then we're gonna move. There we go. We're Dagger is well played. Dagger is well Hello, Michael. Hello, sir. Все. 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 Well, I think uh, you are very aggressive, and I think uh, there was a lot of, dis <laughs> was a lot of respect lost over there. Where, where is the respect for Persia? You know, where, where is the respect for Persia? Dagger? What do you mean? 
I mean, you didn't build units, you open up campuses with Persia in your face. You saw he took a settler, you still go, you know? Yeah, what should I do? I have to... Like back settle maybe? Like, yeah, back settle or chocolate. Yeah, please back settle. Back settle for chocolate, he was always great, I guess. Better than Wool City. You didn't see Chocolate Hills uh, when you settled the northern city? I, I didn't notice your vision. No, I saw, I saw. Okay. But well, it's out of, like, not fresh. And uh, I choose to settle not fresh. Yes. Yeah. I mean, you are so close from losing another settler. England was... Uh... Yeah, yeah, I saw it. Unlucky, I guess, or greedy, I don't know. Okay, thank you for game, thank you for cast. You think you for cast also? GG well played? Yes, thank you. Well, there we go. We uh, heard a little bit uh, from uh, Dagger what was going on. He wasn't really sure exactly what to do over there and how to uh, prioritize. He didn't want to get the space in between him and uh, Persia and uh, at the end uh, didn't end up uh, losing those series, unfortunately. Persia was on point with his strategies. His teammates still helped him out and get those um, uh, resources, especially the goal to upgrade his uh, units. We did have a fast game and a surprise game today. I do hope uh, you enjoyed it and I do hope you're going to leave a like over there on YouTube for it and I do hope we're going to see each other on discord uh, you can check out my schedule using exclamation mark discord in a twist chat or uh, taking a look um, in the description of the video down below the vote of the uh, this uh, game will be up uh, soon hopefully yes uh, youtube uh, help me uh, hopefully it's gonna be fine not uh, switching uh, you know the um, resolution in the middle of it <laughs> it is what it is uh, and uh, we're gonna see each other in the next one i'm not so sure exactly of my, of my schedule tomorrow or the day after tomorrow we we'll definitely want to um uh, get some games going and hopefully I actually stabilize this uh, install of Windows and it's gonna be fine which does mean I can actually connect the other computer and uh, start to uh, play a little bit more while I can work in the background and uh, making the other computer do the um, uh, how to say carry the heavy load you know uh, those uh, animations and so on and so forth uh, Roch de Falkman also good evening sir and thank you so much for reminding me that I should actually uh, get this going so Lethal Company did manage to get a victory against their opponents um, Easy Katka complete the prediction there we go you got it back you got it back uh so thank you so much for everything much appreciated for the follows and the subscriptions not to mention of course uh, all of the um, uh, support of the channel the bits the um, uh, questions every every everything thank you so much spread the word we do have uh, the civilization world cup started up soon we are still in the qualifier stage and we're gonna have quite a few uh, games that need to be uh, played out in the next period so they figure out exactly who is uh, what the seed and where thank you so much for everything let's see each other next one Bye bye bye. Like and subscribe.